Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. Today we are in Munich, Germany, in the heart of Bavaria. And this is a fantastic place to stay, a great place to explore and do lots of things when you are here. But today we're not gonna talk about the things you do do when you're here in Munich. Today we're gonna talk about things you don't do when you're here in Munich, all right? So let's get started with the don'ts of visiting Munich. Now the first don't I have for you is don't assume that Munich is just the Hofbrauhaus beer hall, big leader beer culture. Look, Munich has got so much more than just a beer house. Yes, they are totally fun and you should go and have your Moss, your Stein of beer and drink that up and have fun. But realize that Munich has an amazing collections of museum and tourist sites here. The Alte Neuen Modern Pinotech, the, the art galleries that are here. You have the, the residence, the summer or the winter residence of the Bavarian Kings. You get the Nymphenburg Palace that's right outside of town. There's all kinds of great museums here. BMW Museum. There's a toy museum. The Deutsches Museum, one of the best science and industry museums in the world is here in Munich. So yes, there is beer, but don't think it's just beer here. You can get beer and culture, okay? Now my second don't for here has to do actually with those beer halls. Look, don't try to steal one of the big beer steins, the mosses, when you're in the Hofbrauhaus House or those other places, because they watch, they know, and they will come get you. And you don't want to deal with the cops or the security guards late at night in those places. Just, you know what? They actually sell the beer steins, the big beer mugs, at the at the Hopper House and at Augustine and all these things. So you can just a beer mug that way. So don't steal it because you will get in trouble for that, okay? And following on with that, our third don't is don't think that the Hopper House is the only beer hall in town. There are a lot of beer halls around town and you can go and explore different ones and enjoy different ones out there. If you want more of a calm setting to go and have dinner, like where I go and have dinner with my mom when we come here, we go to the Augustina Brew House and we go there for dinner and we have our beers and stuff like that. But just know, Hopper House is super touristy, yes, but don't think you just have to go to that one because there are a lot more here. Now our fourth don't from Munich is don't think that Munich is going to be a cheap vacation. Now overall, Germany has a lot of great deals and there are great deals to get here in Munich, like the Bayern ticket, you can go all over Bavaria for a really good price. But in general, hotels, restaurants, staying here, shopping here, Munich is actually quite pricey, so do be prepared when you come here and don't forget to bring cash because they like cash better than credit cards, okay? Now our fifth don't for you is don't be scared of the public transportation because the public transportation, the S-Bahn, that's the above ground kind of trains, the U-Bahn, the subway, the buses, goes all over the place. So you can go and enjoy the Nymphenburg Palace. You can get out to the English Garden and things like that. Easy, easy, easy with the subways and with all these things. Because I know some people when they travel are like, well, Munich is so compact. You can see a lot of the sites really close to each other. Yeah, the residence is here. The Pinotakes are over there. The, the Glockenspiel at the New Town Hall, right out noise Rathaus is right over there and you can walk everywhere but don't be scared of that transport to go and explore more because Munich really is more than just that historic center there's so many great things to do here whether you go to the Olympic Park or you're gonna go to a soccer match or a football match when you are here there is a lot more to that so don't be scared of the transport okay and also the transportation is really easy to buy tickets and use there's maps all over the place so either you don't speak German you'll be fine with it here now, my sixth don't has to do with Oktoberfest because I know a lot of people come to Munich just specifically for Oktoberfest. And don't forget that Oktoberfest isn't in October. Oktoberfest starts in September and goes through the first weekend of October. So if you want to come, try to shoot for mid end of September to do that. And don't forget to reserve your rooms and a table in some of the tents because otherwise you might have a tough time finding a place last minute and the prices really go through the roof then. And they don't serve you beer unless you're sitting at a table at one of the Oktoberfest tents, okay? Now my seventh don't for you has to do with shopping. Because Munich, for me, Munich and Hamburg and then Berlin are the best shopping places anywhere in Germany. And the thing is, if you're a tourist, you're traveling on the weekends and things like that. But unfortunately, you don't shop on Sundays. Look, Sundays in Germany, in general, most stores are closed, so you won't be getting too much shopping done then, unless maybe it's at the train station or, or a tourist shop. So if you are here for a weekend trip, get your souvenirs, get your stuff bought on Saturday, because Sunday, you're out of luck. 
Also, on Mondays, not all of the museums are closed, but a lot of the museums are closed on Mondays. The residence, though, is open, and one of the Pinotex is open, but not all of them, so do be careful if you're here for a Monday. Some of the stuff is closed. Now, the eighth don't I have for you is one of those things that really frustrates me with tourists, is if you go to Dachau, you know, the Nazi concentration camp where lots and lots of people were murdered, don't be an idiot when you're there. I've gone to Dachau and other concentration camps around Germany and other parts of Europe, and I've seen tourists doing their mm, selfies. Oh, look, here's the gas chamber. Mm, and I see those things. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Look, don't be a troll. Don't be an idiot when you go to the concentration camp about here, Dachau, which is probably the most visited one for tourists because Munich is such a big place. So please, have respect when you're there and don't be a jerk at the concentration camps. Now my ninth don't for you is don't just stay in Munich. Munich makes a great base and you can explore Bavaria really easily from here. And what's cool is with that Bayern ticket, you can go and travel all over on regional transport all around the state of Bavaria. And that is really, really cool because you have a lot of really cool places here. You can go to Nuremberg, the best Christmas markets in Germany. You go to the Castle on the Hill, the Folk Museum, all these kind of things. Or you can go to Bamberg with the home of smoked beer or, or Regensburg to see the bridge there. Or you go to Oberammergau where they have buildings that are painted on the side and it's just like a winter wonderland when you go in there the right time of the year or if you want to go to another country you can go to Salzburg Austria with the sound of music it's not more than an hour and a half away on a local train there's so many great things here and oh yes there's that whole Neuschwanstein castle you know the the one that inspired Walt Disney for his Cinderella castle that's by here too so don't just stay in Munich use it as a base to go explore all over the places because it really is a great place to do those kind of things and the tenth don't I have for you is don't be afraid to come here outside of the summer. Look, I know a lot of people think, oh, Munich, that's like near the mountains and stuff. So it's going to be cold and gross and rainy because Germany is just bad weather stuff. Look, if you come here in November, if you come here in October, you come here in the spring, and you come here in the winter, Munich is a year-round destination. You can come and enjoy it anytime because of all the sights and all these kind of things. You don't need good weather to enjoy the residents. You don't need good weather to enjoy Neuschwanstein Castle. There's so much here. And honestly, if you come in the summer, the June, July, August, this place is packed. If you come here in November in the off-season, it's empty. We were in the residence today, literally. We were in rooms, amazing rooms, by ourselves. Just, what, we got like 10 minutes just standing there. Wow, this is amazing. Just us. And you can have that kind of individual experience here in Munich when you do come in the off season. Anyway, those are 10 little don'ts for coming to Munich. If you want to learn more, 10 things that'll shock you about Germany. Actually, we got so many shocks. We actually have two 10 shocks of Germany videos. Uh, five things you love and hate about Munich. All those kind of things we have on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you want to get videos like this every week, we usually put out one or two or three, actually two or three, uh, travel videos every week. So do please click that subscribe button and do click that like button and if you want to support us click the support button because we really do appreciate it all and we hope you have a great time here in Munich but though I don't think that'll be a problem <laughs> anyway auf Wiedersehen oh and don't forget to learn a little German before you come because it really does get the the Germans to really warm up and the best Germans the nicest Germans really are here in Bavaria they're great anyway choose from Munich <laughs>